Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Test Code Automate. So this is my 17th video for the Playwright with TypeScript series. In this video, I would be covering how to handle checkbox. So let's start. So we can use this locator.check method to check the checkbox. Okay, with the input HTML tag and attribute type equals to checkbox. Okay, and the role would also be the checkbox. So let's uh, see how you can detect that particular element is checkbox or not, right? So let's go to this website artoftesting.com here we are we can see this checkbox section right if you will scroll uh, to this particular point you would be able to see that uh, there are two checkboxes okay so and uh, this checkbox uh, appearance would be like this right is uh, you would be able to see okay and once you inspect this particular element uh, you, uh, you would be able to see this uh, dome inside this let's see uh, this element this first checkbox right is having the input as the HTML tag, okay, and the type is equals to checkbox, right? For the second checkbox, also the same thing is there, right? So by this, I mean you would be able to detect that element is checkbox or not, right? And there are different attributes also which can be there, okay. These value is there which will define its value, okay. And uh, one more thing, uh, the checkbox for the checkbox you can select the multiple checkbox, right? If they are into the group, right? See, but for the radio button it was different right at a single time we would be able to select a single radio button right so let's see how we can perform this uh, check operation onto any of the checkbox so let's go to the visual studio code so here i have already created one test script file with this handle checkbox.spec.ts name okay where i have imported uh, this test and expect from the playwright uh, test module okay and created this test block with title handle checkbox with the anonymous function. Okay, so let's go to this uh, practice website which uh, we just checked. Okay, so for that you need to use this await page dot go to, and uh, then you can use this particular site. Okay, as the screen you can pass it. Okay, and uh, then we are going to perform the check operations. So for that, first we need to use or create one locator, right? So how you can create it? So page dot locator uh, method we are going to use okay and uh, let's see attribute which we can use okay so here this class attribute is unique one right so let's use this one and uh, here let's create the css selector so dot and the class name right so we would be able to detect the single element only right about this uh, we have already talked right how we can create uh, the xpark css selector right so if you have not watched that uh, locator video so i will provide the link of that particular video into the description so you can go there and watch okay now let's copy the css selector which we have created okay and uh, use it with this locator method so as a string you need to pass dot and that class name right and then you need to use this check method to select the checkbox c-h-e-c-k okay and we have used this await because this check method is going to return the promise here right and here into the description if you will see for this method so this method ensures that the checkbox or the radio button is checked okay and uh, behind the scene it is going to perform all these steps right to check that uh, particular checkbox so it ensures that element is checkbox or a radio button right it wait for the actionability check okay it scrolls to the element into the view if needed right so for us also I mean it is going to scroll because uh, once you will open the site, you would be here, right? So you'll have to scroll to go to that particular checkbox. So that also it is going to do. Okay, and uh, apart from that, uh, it is going to use the space dot mouse to click in the center of the element. Okay, and it ensures that the element is now checked. If not, it is going to throw an error. Okay, so you can also go through these uh, description, right? For any of the method which we are going to use. Okay, and uh, so by this you would be able to select the element okay and as you have selected that particular element let's perform the assertion also on that okay so for that uh, how you can provide the assertion so just write this await and we are going to use this expect right so expect and inside this you need to provide the locator on which you you want to perform the assertion okay so let's copy this locator okay and then here we are going to use this dot to be checked right to be and checked 
okay so it is going to perform uh, assertion that whatever the element which we checked got checked or not right so let's run the script so once you run the script it is uh, going to open this particular link where it will locate this uh, element automation testing checkbox okay as it is uh, in the middle of the page so it is going to scroll to that particular point and then it is going to check that element and then we are going to check it with the help of assertion that this element got checked or not right so our test case should get passed right because everything is correct right it checked the element and then it is going to check perform this assertion that uh, it checked the element or not okay so we also saw right we can uh, select multiple checkboxes so let's select the check second checkbox also so for that we can inspect the element to detect the property right so here also we can use this performance class so with this uh, class name what we can do page dot locator we will use and here you can provide that css selector so dot and the class name right and then again you can use this check method so after that you need to put this dot check okay so now it is going to check the second checkbox also right so first it will check this automation testing a checkbox and then the performance testing okay so let's uh, start the execution let me close all the already opened browser by the playwright okay now let's run the script so at the end we would be able to see that uh, both the checkboxes got checked with the help of this check method okay so see here uh, we are able to see that uh, both the checkboxes got checked right and in the similar pattern right we check these checkboxes there is option to uncheck the checkbox okay and how we can do that so to do that we need to use this uncheck method right for the checkboxes so it will it will kind of uh, unselect the checkbox okay let's see how we can do that so let's unselect this particular uh, performance testing checkbox right so for that what we can do we can we need to create the same locator right page dot locator okay and uh, inside this we need to pass that css selector right which we previously used we'll just copy the same class name okay dot and the class name and then we are going to use this uncheck method okay unchck so with this we would be able to unselect that particular checkbox right for now we are just unchecking this checkbox only and if you will mouse over onto this method so you would be able to see that it is going to return the promise so we will have to use this await in front of this line okay and uh, it is going to perform the same checks right uh, which the check method was performing see uh, it is going to ensure that element is checkbox or the ready or not and all other checks right uh, which check me method was performing okay and uh, now after that uh, what we can do we can also use the assertion right so we are unselecting this uh, performance testing checkbox and then we are going to use this uh, assertion to detect that element is not checked right so for that we are going to use the same method expect then pass this locator there okay and then we need to use this dot not and then again dot and then this to be checked okay so here what we are doing we are unchecking the element and then we are uh, putting the assertion that this locator right this element should not be checked so dot not and dot to be checked right so our whole whole uh, test script should pass right because first we are checking the automation testing then we are putting the assertion and then for the performance testing what we are doing first we are checking it then again we are unchecking it and then we are putting this assertion right you can also uncheck this element right uh, by the same way by using the uncheck method so let's run the script let me close all the playwright open browser okay and again run the script so uh, we would we should be able to see the pass result for this particular test script right so let it run so see uh, the browser got open okay and now it will scroll to that particular point where the checkboxes are there and it is going to check one by one and then uncheck it right i think it got executed see it was too fast that we were not able to see that it is getting checked and unchecked right but yeah i mean it i mean by the same way you can try it for the other checkboxes also that how we can check and uncheck that particular element right and one more thing 
before performing this uncheck operation we can we can kind of do one check right let's say we are clicking onto this automation checkbox right and after that i want to perform one surety that particular element if the particular element is checked then only i need to uncheck it right so for that what i can do i can put a if condition and inside the if condition let's use this one now this locator automation testing checkbox okay and then is checked method we can use so this is checked method is going to return the boolean right so it will return true or false let's say if the element is checked so it is going to return the true otherwise it is going to return the false okay and it is also written the promise right so we will have to use this await keyword here okay and with this if condition what we can do here we can put right let's say if this element is checked right page dot locator uh, this dot automation right the automation testing checkbox is checked then uncheck it right so again use this same locator okay and then we can perform this uncheck operation with this uncheck method right and here we will have to use this await keyword as it is going to return the promise at front of in front of this line okay and let's use the console log also so we would be able to see that element was checked okay then it performed the unchecked so console dot log and element was checked any any console log you can put okay let's put it before this particular line so see here what we are doing we are first checking that element is checked or not and if it is checked then we are putting a console log and then we are unchecking that element right let's run the script so for now uh, here uh, this element would be checked right we are not unchecking it before this if condition right if you are not aware about the javascript so this is the if condition where we inside the if we are going to provide the condition right which is going to return the true or false and then we need to put this curly braces and inside this we are going to write whatever the code we want to execute right if this condition is true then execute this particular code okay let's run the script close all the browser and then run the script so see it will first open this link it will check this automation testing checkbox then it will check the performance testing checkbox and then it will uncheck first the performance testing checkbox and then the this automation testing checkbox right see uh, everything happened so fast that we are not able to see it right but one by one it is performing all the actions right and see the test got passed and we are also able to see this console log because our automation testing checkbox was checked so that's why i mean uh, we came into this if condition right and this code got executed where we are able to see the console log and the element got unchecked okay so yeah that's it uh, for this particular video let me give you the quick recap so here we learned right uh, that we can check a particular checkbox with the help of this uh, check method okay and uh, you would be able to detect the checkbox uh, which are having the input html type with the type equals to checkbox right and the role would also be the checkbox okay and uh, we can provide this uh, assertion also if we want to check that uh, element is checked or not so with this to be checked method we can use it like this expect and the locator dot to be checked right and uh, vice versa also we can check with the help of this dot not dot to be checked right okay and in the similar pattern if you want to uncheck a particular checkbox so you can use this uncheck method right and we also we can also put the condition if a uh, particular element is checked then only we are going to perform this uncheck method okay so yeah that's it from my end stay tuned for my upcoming videos if you have any comments questions doubts you can let me know into the comment section below please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a great day